We are one adventure at a time. Dave, Carrie, and Rudolph. We are excited to start our third year of full-time living and traveling in our tiny home on wheels. Join us as we travel North America, exploring and sharing the beauty around us. This is the entrance to the campground and you can see why you would not want to go across here if it was flooded. Your vehicle could easily be taken off into the river. There's nothing that would keep you on that overpass right there. The water would be over my head right here. So do watch the forecast, pay attention if it's going to rain or not, and you might get out if you feel a few raindrops just to be safe. Today we are in Kentucky and this is the Daniel Boone National Forest. This campground is called Turkey Foot and it is free camping. I'm excited about a couple things here. One is the creek that runs through here is absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to share that with you. The second thing is, is the way this campground is set up and all the work that they put in it. So the way it's set up is the upper loop part of the campground is where you camp. The lower loop is day use area. So that means you can go down there, not invade anybody's privacy and enjoy the entire length of the creek. Now look how much work they put in. This is a rock border that goes around this area where you can stick your tent or just hang out. And then they graveled it, it's nice and level. They put even put drainage system in it. I mean, that's a lot of work for a free camp spot. And there's quite a few of these throughout this loop. It's got fire pits and picnic tables, a place to hang your light lantern and a table. Brutal's enjoying himself. These spots are extra shady. I'm super excited. They put in a lot of work here to make this enjoyable for us and for you. And it is pretty darn cool. Some of these camp spots are made to where you park right off here, right off the side of the road, and they're small. Like if your vehicle's over 20 feet, it is not gonna fit in this spot. And then you hike up the stairs, and then they have a picnic table, fire pit, and a level area for you to put your tent. So this is really good for tent campers, not so good for car camping because there's just not much room and it's not level. Now some of the spots are a little bit bigger, but even as it is, this spot here is not big enough for anything longer than about 25 feet and the nose of your vehicle is gonna be right next to the road. So very nice spots, really good for tent camping. A little bit challenging for car camping because you're gonna to have to level almost every site that you're in and you're gonna be fairly close to the road. part of the campground and there is quite a few people down by the creek enjoying it right now but it, this is awesome to be able to come right next to the creek you can do your barbecuing down here there's a couple people fishing nice little trail that follows the edge 
And it looks like to me they even have it built up for swimming because they've got steps going into it and then there's a rock that you can jump off of. I'm thinking that the river is super low right now because there is barely enough water to wade in. But I did find a hole that's deep enough to swim a little ways down the creek, which I hope to try out. Big jump. Riddle! Riddle! Get it! Oh. <laughs> Good boy! Where are you going? Where are you going? It looks deep enough for me. Hey, Boo! Good boy! So I'm guessing you hit bottom? Yeah. Woo! Cold? Refreshing. Where's the deepest part at? Probably right out here. Right behind you. Hi, Rudy. Yeah. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. Go this way, Rudy. Good boy. Good boy. That's cool. Don't come shake by me, Rudolph. No! No! Right on the camera. Rudolph. That one was perfect. Gary's never been able to skip rocks before, so I think this is the perfect place to learn. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. Keep it going. Another one. Brutal is helping. That wasn't bad. Oh, I think I missed that one. He does. Now go. Oh, is it? That was all of them? That was all of them. I know, with Rudel there, you don't want to hit Rudel, so you kind of hold back. But you did good. You got a lot of those to skip. Good job, Carrie. Good job, Rudel. You guys are It's a biggie. It's a biggie. All the way oh. to the other side. <laughs> Look how happy Rudel is. Yeah, he loves this. He's, this is a great day. Doesn't get much better, does it, Rudel? He actually likes this more than he likes fall. He does. He's super excited. It's like a puppy again. Good boy, Rudel. Oh, stick. As soon as you pick up a rock, though, he'll be back. There's a rock. There's a rock. <laughs> he just chases them. Take it easy there, bud. Easy, Rudel. That's a Rudel approved day. Yeah, he loved that. Playing in the water, chasing rocks and sticks. He's going to sleep good tonight.
awesome. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. That's the best sausage gravy ever. It is. Where's yours, Rudel? Where's your breakfast? Do you want an egg on your breakfast? Yeah? Are you waiting for this? You hungry? Oh, are you hungry? You hungry boy? Okay, let's go outside. Come on, outside. Go outside. Go on. Outside. Oh, Rudel Doodle. Oh, here you go. There you go. How are your eggs? Oh, that was excellent. New favorite? I, I feel like I could eat that every breakfast, but <laughs> I'm the one that's supposed to be cooking breakfasts, so I guess I'm gonna have to learn how to make that gravy <laughs> soon. <laughs> Look at me, Dave. Oh, somebody got poison ivy on their face. Yes, I can feel it too, it's stinging. Oh, bummer. It's gonna... They have put a lot of time and effort in this campground, so I'm going to do the same. I'm going to actually go around to every campsite and all the way around the loop in this campground and pick up all the trash I can find. I think it's well worth it. It's a Friday. There might be forest service here today. I don't want them to feel like they have to pick up other people's garbage. It won't take too long. I'll get started and I'll bring it back here and I'll show you what I found. This was a pretty good catch. I think I managed to get most of the trash in the entire loop of the campground. And this is the first I've ever found an actual paint can left out. So from here, I'm gonna rebag this all. There is no trash removal in this campground. It is free. So we're gonna go ahead and rebag this up and take it out on our way out of here. We really love the camp spot that we're in right now because it's all shady and there's trees everywhere but one of the things the problems that we have with that is we need sun so we came into town today this is the town of mckee it's only about six miles away from our camp and we're recharging our solar panels of course we've got the two up on the roof for 200 watts and then this portable one here on the ground which is 100 watts so in just a few hours maybe four hours we're able to recharge our batteries up and we should be good for another two to three days in the shade if we want to stay that much longer. But I tell you what, it is hot out here, it's humid, and we're ready to go back to camp. We did make a full use out of the day though. We got rid of our trash and we bought some groceries. And now it's time to head back and enjoy some cool shade.
It's a really pretty stretch of the creek right here. The size of this tree right here in the hollow. And then the creek winds around these big boulders. It looks like this is the last of the creek before it goes underground. And it just kind of ends right up here. And that's it. There's some bubbles coming up there, so I don't know if that's where it's going under the water or under the ground. And then it's dry. And there's not even a pool left down here. rock ledge here that follows the creek. I could just make a day trip all the way down this creek bed. Yeah, you could. As long as you got a good weather report first. <laughs> <laughs> so there must be a cave underneath us? Yeah, I'm thinking, a tube? I'm thinking there's a cave underneath us and that's where all the water dropped down into. I had to guess. And when we first came in, remember there was no water in the creek? Yep. It's really pretty. This must really flood though. You can tell, yeah, the water moves fast because it's just carved out that ledge. We keep finding charcoal on the ground, but it looks like it's more of a natural rock form. So if I had to guess, I would say this is coal. So let me know, we're in Kentucky, so that's why I'm guessing coal. But it definitely appears to be charcoal. Maybe I should grab a whole bunch of this and burn it and see if it is. Pretty neat. My favorite thing about this campground is there's so many trees that the sun makes nice little cool rays everywhere all through the ground and then at nighttime when it's almost a full moon right now so it looked like little patches of snow when the moonlight shined through the trees. Yeah you got excited about that. That was pretty cool. <laughs> the trees are exceptionally beautiful here and if you need the place to cool down this is definitely the spot because there's nothing but shade. Yeah it was <laughs> at least 10 degrees cooler here than six miles away when we were in town. Yeah. Okay, so there's a lot to talk about about what you need to know about this location. So let's get started on that. First of all, it's a dry camp. There's no water, so make sure you bring your own. There is pit toilets here, but bring your own toilet paper. There is no trash. You'll need to pack that out. In fact, Dave collected three garbage bags of trash. Yeah, it took about two days to get all caught up on the trash that was in this campground, but it's looking really good right now. Which brings us to our next point. This campground is only six miles away from the small town of McKee, Kentucky and it gets a lot of day use. Yeah all the day use parking was full and even a lot of people stayed over the weekend at night mm -hmm. so if you're looking for a peaceful place to come probably don't come on the weekend. Yeah. Come during the weekdays for sure. There's a lot of traffic that comes through the campground since it's a loop so the weekend is quite busy with um, visitors. Yeah. So we're getting no cell reception here. Um, as far as rig size these the parking places here are extremely tight. I would say nothing over 25 feet. Yes. No trailers at all. No class A's. It's going to be tent camping or small car camping at best. 
Well, I think you could get a tent camper in you here. You could probably get a tent camper in if one of the spots is open. Yeah. There is 15 sites here. So if one of them is, that is open that's big enough, you could finagle and get one in here. Yeah, it is risky though. And you saw the creek when we came through. So uh, this looks like a high flash flood area. This is definitely a spot where you're going to want to watch your weather. Yeah, if you get a big flash flood, you're going to get trapped in the campground and you're not going to be able to get out. So definitely consider that. Yeah, so I think this would be a fantastic spot to come early spring, late fall, um, when the temperatures are cool and not during the summer when the, the traffic is high. Uh, this, uh, this area is dog friendly with an exception of there is poison ivy here. So uh, it's easy for your pet to get into that poison ivy and then you to get those oils off him and on you, which I did and got it on my face. <laughs> yeah, you got, you got a pretty good case on his face right now. <laughs> the bugs are just starting to come out, and we're here at the end of May, and it's very warm, and I did see a snake. Uh, yep. And I, I don't know what kind of snake it is. My first reaction is rattlesnake. But I don't think so. But I don't think yeah. so, because it didn't have any rattles, yep. and the head wasn't very triangular. Yep. So tell me what you think, what kind of snake you think. You think that is? What kind of snake you thought that was. <laughs> So we had a really good experience here. We hoping that you will come during the work uh, weekday, weekdays and have a great experience as well. We are extremely grateful that we find places like this to camp for free and we're going the extra mile and not only leaving the area clean, but we're doing a few extra things so the next person to come to this campsite will be able to enjoy it right from the start. We've cleaned off the picnic table, we've raked all the grounds, We've even chopped some wood up so the person could start off with a nice hot fire. And we kind of stashed it. And we stashed it so the, the looky-loos that come by won't be able to grab it and take it right away. Hopefully the person that comes to this site will get the wood. We hope you enjoy and we hope you make it to this spot. If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron. Or check out our new merchandise at oneadvancereatatime.com. We also have stickers available in our website store. Thank you for watching.